The junction point of the coat is the collar. It is also the focal point of the coat. So it's important that we shape our collar correctly. So this is um, on our collar melt and it's cut on the bias. There's such a thing as opposite biases. One bias is always more biased than the other. So one side will stretch more than the other. So I always want that side to be the leaf edge of my collar and this side to be the stand side. So I use it as a split up in the middle so I get the same bias. So the handcrafted coat could be considered as a heavy coat when it's held in the hand. But once it goes on to the wear, because it's perfectly balanced, it's, uh, it's cut, there's enough balance in the back and in the front, so it sits up onto the neck. The collar there, that, that, that brings it together, so the, the, the weight is distributed across the shoulder, it's never felt by the wearer when it's worn. Cutting this out here, so when I put the two seams on top of each other, there isn't a, there isn't a step. So measure up now in my stand, which is an inch and a quarter. The collar itself, from the moment we've cut it through this ditching, is being shaped constantly. It's always been worked out and over to build that shape into it. And so on this now, I won't be any putting any knots. It differs from the padding of the canvas because you don't go all the way through. You're just lightly picking up the underside, so the stitches aren't visible underneath. Show you the underside. As I'm rolling this over, the, the top is longer than the bottom. And the top will always remain longer than the bottom. And all the stitches that I put into it are, are ensuring that it stays, it stays in that position. The stitches are being tied off, they're not being pulled or being under pressure or anything. So when actually, if you cut this stitch here, these two are cut one on top of the other. You can see it better when it's done. You can already see that the length difference, like how much more length has gone into the top than it's in the bottom. You know, compared to this side here, which is cut, cut flush. You need to work this out, you need a lot of stretch over the edge. I really work my collars around, but a very rounded collar into the neck so I don't get any difficulties, any problems, any pulling to that. And they're ready to wear. What they usually do is, when they factor the garments, is actually just make the collar flat. They make, cut it out flat, bag it out. Don't really put much stiffener into it. You keep it as soft as possible and try and keep it narrow as well. So when it gets sewn in and gets pressed around, it should sit okay. That's the hope. But it doesn't sit the same, no, but they never, don't look the same. I, I go out and I look at a lot of people in suits and that. And I very rarely I've ever seen somebody in a really nice suit, you know, and said, wow, that guy is, you know, just somebody they've seen on the street. The only place I've ever seen that was, you know, at, at the Merchant Taylor's Hall or uh, the Henry Lesser Christmas party. The cloth merchants, all the tailors get together and uh, you see all the nice suits. That's the only time you ever see really, really nice with it. Nice suits. Yeah, so whenever the, um, the collar is finished padding, you should be able to hold it straight off. That it's, uh, it's all been um, curled around. That's how it looks. And this will help then. We're gonna we're gonna put a stitch in here now. This is gonna draw it in, help grip it to the back of the man's neck. The draw stitch is a feature used in my handcrafted suits that you don't get in the mass market. And this is silk I'm using here all the time. It's just fine and it's strong. Particularly for this stitch, you want it strong because you want to draw in the draw in the canvas. I like a stiff collar that sits up onto the wearer's neck. This is why I sew it by hand. Why I shape it the way that I do. I want it to sit up and bite into the, the client's neck. I want whenever my client puts his coat on to feel the collar sit up onto his neck. And I think there's a certain amount of comfort that's taken in that to knowing that this is a bespoke coat that is cut just for you. The melt will be surge stitched as a finished stitch to the coat afterwards. This will ensure that the 
little heat and stuff. Peek out. That's what we're working. 